The thing which makes classics unique is that it's such a broad subject. It covers over 2,000 years of human history um, and we study it in great detail but through a number of different disciplinary approaches. So we study it for its languages, Latin and Ancient Greek. We study its literature. We study its ancient history, its philosophy and its visual culture. You can kind of see behind me. Um, we study the art and archaeology of the ancient worlds um, and also the detailed study of language. A classic student has quite an intense package of contact time. Because of the ancient languages, Latin and ancient Greek, our students typically spend several hours in language classes during a week of their university term. These are groups of around about 10 with a teacher such as myself working hard on texts, learning grammar and making progress with their ability to learn and read Latin and ancient Greek. Students also have um, a regular pack package of lectures, usually about 10 or 12 a week in their first year. The number of lectures drops down as you go through the, the years of the course. And students would typically also have a series of supervisions organised by their colleges. Usually a student would have a supervision in Latin and a supervision in Greek each week, at least one perhaps, um, and they might each week also have an essay supervision. Um, they would do some literature, probably two Latin literature essays and supervisions a term, two Greek literature, and also ancient history, art and archaeology, philosophy, and philology and linguistics. So it's quite a varied pattern between language classes, lectures, and then supervisions on the college side. When we interview students, um, we're looking for a number of things. Primarily, we're looking for students who are excited, challenged, and committed to studying the ancient world. We're looking for students that have a lot of intellectual curiosity and who are also prepared to work hard. Learning the ancient languages, which for most of our students means learning them from scratch, takes a lot of steady effort. It takes a lot of grit and determination and sticking with it, but it's really rewarding. So that's something that we're looking for in our students, students who have a, a desire to work consistently towards something. We're also looking for students who are intellectually curious, who want to ask questions about the world around them and who can bring that kind of questioning intellect to the study of the ancient world. We're looking for students who can think on their feet, who aren't, um, who aren't put off by meeting new material, by meeting new things that they've never thought of before, and who can take those new things and think, hmm, haven't thought of it like that. Let me try and run with that. Let me try and work with that new piece of information. Study a subject like classics, you're always presented with new bits of information and always have to think your way around to think how people in the ancient world might have approached certain questions and topics. So we're kind of looking for those skills or the beginning of those skills as we can see it in a prospective candidate. So we're looking for a passion for the ancient world, intellectual curiosity, good level of determination. My main area of research is Greek literature. Um, in my job, I actually teach both Greek and Latin language and teach both Greek literature and Latin literature, but my own particular specialism area is Greek literature. I love the way that it's all about stories, I particularly love tragedy um, and I love the epics of Homer. Um, they are works that have stood the test of thousands of years and are still fascinating and extremely rewarding to read. They still in my view, tell us something crucial and important and complicated about human nature and about how humans relate to and try to conceptualise their world. So that's why I find it really interesting.